Okay, Louis on the forum asked about any other tricks that I have for this little special adapter that I have here. Yes, you can just single charge one of the cells and let the charger throttle it. Well, the cell has a specific characteristic that the closer it gets to the the constant voltage, or basically the closer that it gets to the fully charged set off, it stops accepting current. So there's like a natural taper off of the uh, of the current. So you get to the end. Let's see. Like I said, I still have this one cell that's lowest at 4.13, but if the voltage is at 4.15 charging, there is very little current that's uh, flowing to that one cell. Now, I was going to do this video to show you how to bump. If the charger keeps saying that this cell is charged, but you still want to bump it up a little bit further, here's the method on how to do it. Just give me one moment while I set things up. Okay, I have everything set up, and the trick is if you go ahead and put your charger in NICAD mode, um, charge auto right now, I just haven't set it 2 amp, and the charger is going to keep raising the voltage until it reaches two, 2 amps, and um, let the cell decide what voltage it wants to be at. Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to like pulse the cell so that you need a you need a voltage differential so let's say the cell is at 4.13 uh four, it's at 4.13 4.14 um but we need to bump it up just a little bit and the eye charger keeps saying that it's done charging so this is what you do right now i have everything set up so we're going to go ahead and do this, go ahead and start the, and basically so it's charging, the, ignore that voltage, it's a, it's a surface charge voltage, um, so that's how much, how much voltage that it has to put out to get it to accept 2 amp charge, and so simply what we're doing is, um, I'm going to wait about 20 to 25 milliamp hours and then stop the charge. All right, stop the charge. All right, so the actual cell voltage is 4.15. So even though it was reading 4.3, the actual voltage of that cell is 4.15. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check, uh, I'm gonna check the actual balance of the pack. So just give me one second. Okay, so by pulsing the cell, we got that cell to come up to 4.14. So that was really, really quick because I've been trying to get this one cell up for quite some time. So we're going to try this one more time to see if we can get it up to like 1.5. I may leave it on the charge for a little bit longer, probably to around 30 or 35 to see if we can get that cell to 4.15. Okay, we're about to start it up again. Again, I'm ignoring the cell voltage. I'm just looking at how many milliamp hours that I'm putting in. So I said I was going to do about 30 or 35. I may go a little bit higher since this is two turn sheet packs and current is being split between um, the cells on both packs because the both packs are in parallel at the balance taps so we're just going to probably let it go a little bit longer
All right, so I stopped it. I'm gonna just check everything, plug everything, and plug the balance tap back up to the charger so I can check the balance of the pack. Seems like we're still a little bit low on that one cell. I'm gonna just rinse and repeat it and hook it back up again. Okay, this is the third round of a shock treatment. And so last time I put in about 40 milliamp hours, so I'm gonna put in another 40. It's not holding the two amps like I want it to. It is decaying and this voltage is going up. So I know that there is a voltage, a possible voltage rise in the pack. It was at 4.28, 4.29. So now it's at 4.30. So put another 40 back into it and check it again. Go for 45. All right, stopping, checking, checking everything. The the balance on the pack one more time. Well, look at here. The dead has risen, so we finally got that cell up to 4.15. Now. I've been trying to let the charger do its magic and try to get that cell up by itself, but it wouldn't wouldn't act right. So um, we pulsed the cell for three times. We put in about about 100 milliamp hours into that one cell, and it finally got the cell back in line with the others. So that's the little trick on how to um, get a dud cell back up to fall back in line. It was so close, but the charger couldn't pull it off, but we pulsed the cell, got it back in line, and so now the pack is now balanced. Thanks for watching.